If I replace a chain on a chain on a steel chainsaw, first you want to take out these two nuts, which I'm pretty sure it's kind of sense there, but it's all right. When I was getting, when I was learning, I like to put the chain on backwards sometimes, so it makes me little helps. And you pull off this cover. And you might as well clean out the cover while you're at it and clean out this. Now, you see that chain is loose. So you just pull it, pull it off with the whole bar. But if your chain's not loose on this Silo 21, That screw is your chain adjustment. Well, it moves the bar back and forth to tighten or loosen your chain. If you turn it towards the, the bar, you're loosening. And if you turn it towards your log dogs, you're tightening. And if you think your chainsaw's not oiling, you can go ahead and check. You can start it, run it. And you have to have it where this, where your clutch is moving. Because on this still, the, your pump is connected to this outside cage. So when the soles at idle, this ain't moving. So it's not pumping oil. But that hole right there is where the oil comes out. So if no oil is coming out, you gotta replace your oil pump. But yeah, so I gotta replace this bar here eventually because it's starting to, I don't know, you could say flare out. I gotta show up in this chain anyways, but if you look, there we go. This is the cutting edge. So when you're, and it goes like this. So when you're cutting, you want this, when you put it on your bar, you want it to look like this. This is, this is your tooth. And this is just like a rake or something they call it. This comes over, goes down the end. So when you're at the bottom of the bar where it's cutting, the tooth is dragging across the wood, cutting it. So if you have it flipped around, so you're just like that back of the tooth and the so that's the sharp part. <clears throat> You'll just be pushing the, the back of the chain along your log or whatever your or a tree or whatever you're cutting. I just locked it up. Okay. So you wanna put it like this. Now you wanna check, make sure there ain't no sawdust in in the groove like a lot of it you have a little bit but not a lot you don't want a lot so you just take something and just get a small real small screwdriver and clean it out and the reason why there ain't no paint on here is because this saw wasn't oiling before when I before I got it and like if your paint's all coming off your bar this is that means it wasn't oiling right and the, it overheated and that's usually what causes it the metal to flare out on the sides from how hot it gets and it just like and it, the tension of it but a quick tip is this bar this is your groove to sit between these to tighten it up these two holes what so when you have your bar on it sits in that little oiler meant in the um oh, can you see it no not really 
right there. That's your chain tensioner. So, <clears throat> you can have this bar on any way. And you usually want to flip it every time you like sharpen your chain or anything so it wears evenly. Because this would say still on it, this bar at least. Or yours could say Oregon, Poland, Husqvarna. It doesn't matter. It, if your letter is upside down, who cares? It ain't gonna matter. But it's just so it wears the bottom of your bar, because that's where you're pushing up against with your log, evenly. And if your salt is oiling and it's still overheating this bar, there's this little hole right there. See how it has sawdust in it? That's clogged up. Because I've been running this side of the bar. And right now. So that's your oil hole. So all you gotta do is take your end of the bar. Well, first you wanna take your chain so it has looks like this. And you you want to put your bar like imaginary where you want to put it, like which side. So if this is going to be the top, you just slide your chain up over the length. This saw runs a 35 pitch chain because it has I forget how many teeth it has. Seven of them on there. So it looks like this. You see how it's coming down, going over swing around and as, as it pulls over it's going to cut this way so then all you got to do is like put it on the back of your sprocket or clutch and see how it slid right into that ah chain tensioner you can see how loose it is. Which, I would put my cover on first. But there's that screw there. So when I, when I turn it, you can you know, see this chain tighten up. See how it tightened up? So, before we tighten it up all the way, let's put this cover back. You know, the DeWalt 60 volt saw, it looks like a nice saw. Like, I really don't care about that bolt that keeps coming loose. Because I can always just put a bigger, thicker washer and a lock washer on there. Or some blue lock pipe. And it'll be fine. But the ratcheting system, I don't like that. Because even on this, the still. Which I have, I had one of, well I still have it, it's just, just torn in a million pieces right now. Um, has that type, with like a uh, little thumb screw here, so you can tension it that way, or loosen it. You can actually crank down on that tight, and then flip it over, so it locks it in. But on the deal, what, there's a ratchet, that prevents your gang from tight. And you want this tight, because if it's not really tight, it ain't gonna uh, your chain will come out of tension. So see how your chain it's hard to see because you're up higher. The chain is sagging. Now you want you want your chain tight enough so where when you you just gotta pull on a little bit. Make sure it's up there. 
you want your chain tight enough so when you pull it up, it only has a quarter inch spring to it like this. Well, that's at least where I'm on my side at. And then you want to get your, your nuts as tight as you think. Because if it's not tight enough, your chain will come loose on you. She's got to really push on it. Or, I figured out when these nuts came loose and your bar wasn't sitting perfectly flush against the base back here. Where the oiler is, the oil would run up over the bar and just fill this whole cover, fill this whole side cover with oil, and all the sawdust will get stuck in there. And what I figured out, like if your if your saw like runs like crap, like when you try to throttle it up all the way, and it doesn't want to. Or like if you let your if you pull it up all the way and let go a little bit and it runs fine. Yeah, I had to duct tape this because it's sawdust got in there. It's not a good design. But right here, you can't see it. A good way to be able to see that. There you go. You got those two screws. The one right there where above the uh, throttle trigger is, that little, the one on the right, through that plastic cover. Uh, I found that like two and a half turns is good on this saw, but yours will probably be, would vary. And then that's just your idle. So usually I figured out when you usually adjust this screw, you gotta adjust your idle screw because it either runs a little bit high on idle or it's so low it dies out so that's all you need to know about this put the chain on your chain on your chainsaw I know this chainsaw it, it runs a, a 16 inch barn chain with a with a low kickback chain that came with it this saw will also accept I seen in the manual it'll accept a 14 inch bar and chain, a 16 inch bar and chain, which is this one, and a 18 inch bar and chain. Uh I think the 16 is perfect for this saw. Because I can cut through pretty much like nice logs. And like this 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 it's hard to explain, like the 18, it'd be nice. But I don't think it would have just enough power to do 18 inch logs. Well, it won't be full 18 because this this right here ain't the full 16 inch. But I will leave a link in the description for a Oregon 16 inch bar and chain that fits this saw. And I will leave a link in the description for the barn chain that I want to get pretty soon is they call it their power shirt barn chain now it has the best special chain and bar for this model and you can attach it You're, there's this like yellow box that you can clip on and then you push you run yourself full throttle and you push the black tab coming out of the box against something hard for like five, five to ten seconds and your chain's sharp if you don't know how to sharpen your chain which it it would be really nice to have it I know how to sharpen the chain because I have a sharpener but this chain just likes to get dull real quick because we're cutting so much wood right now and we're not, we haven't been hitting the dirt because I've been flipping the logs over so then not getting you know it's not eating the dirt but I guess, and that's the end of the video, I guess. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure out what I got to say. Yeah, I'll put a link in the barn chain for the uh, stills. The power shirt barn chain for the still.
and the bar and chain with the power again the power sharp model for the other saws that you all have to read it just to make sure it fits your saw but yeah i'll add those links in the description make sure you subscribe to tarot fixes all because i love this youtube channel who doesn't and that's pretty much it so i'll see you guys in the next video